Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So, pretty simple. We need to wait for the job lump to come out, and uh, sorry, I'm on the hour, so let's just get to the eight hour. But you can see we have pretty much a consolidation area right here. We've got two eight hour range bars. Uh, we've got a pin bar, and we've got the oscillators grouping to the downside quite nicely at the moment. So I'm looking for value and uh, the value should come after the data has come out. So if you look at the three hour, you'll see we do have uh, one or two levels to the downside. And I've had to rebuild all my trading stations. So I'm still trying to find all my, my setups at the moment. So bear with me for a sec. But you can see there are two fairly distinctive areas here. Um, which we need to pay attention to. If I scroll to the left, you'll see there's a lot of value in looking for uh, a lot of value and looking for value in these areas. So this area here, uh, 46.89, and then uh, 46.64, 46.65 area. That's kind of the the view that I've got at the moment. Don't think much is going to happen this morning though. And what I was busy doing on the hour was just showing you. The consolidation triangle and this is so typical of um, before the jobs number okay so yesterday was pretty much a nothing day big up big down uh, after the the big move so this is consolidating so it's quite simple bad jobs number we're going to fall a bit further get us a better value to get into this uh, good jobs number you're going to see the bulls coming in and starting to accumulate positions targeting 5,000. So I think 5,000 is definitely the first target at the moment. Um, I don't think we're going to have any falling just yet, not until sort of uh, June time frame, because I think that's pretty much when the first uh, rate hike is scheduled for. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Sit on hands uh, as it was yesterday, and let's just wait and see what happens with the data. And bear in mind, when the data comes out, don't try to trade that noise because it should spike and, and then come back to some kind of uh, a level before getting you an opportunity to get into it. And that would be either way, uh, whether it's the long side or the short side. So, yeah, that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, going to be interesting. I think this is what we've been waiting for. And uh, next week should be at least trading or back to normal where we can actually trade this thing rather than trying to uh, toss a coin and guess what direction we're falling in. Anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. I uh, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you on Monday. Uh, cheers for now.